Hi guys, I am going to apologise in advance if I end this video sounding like Dolores from Encanto. We have all had a stinking cold all week and I have got a very sore throat. I have been taking uh, like numbing throat sweets but it's not made that much of a difference. But I am going to persevere and I hope that there will be somewhere putting subtitles on this video <laughs> if it's needed. Now you have seen, uh, those of you that have seen my last couple of videos, I recently chopped off maybe six inches from my hair. Um, it was almost down to my waist and now as you can see it's just past my collarbones. Now it's been a couple of weeks since I cut my hair so I'm going to take some time today to share my thoughts, how I'm feeling and to point out some things to consider if you are wanting to do a drastic cut like I did. stuck in I am going to take a moment to say hello to my new followers thank you for subscribing to my little channel little being the operative word I'm hoping to grow though I realized this morning I haven't actually properly like introduced myself since my first video which was well nearly a year ago now so I'm going to quickly take a couple of minutes just to reintroduce myself so my name is Nat I don't normally sound like this I'm 30 and I live in Cardiff I have been curly for well 30 years but I ditched the straighteners in it took me a while to remember this I think it was November 2017 was when I did my first curly girl wash I started out over on Instagram after I had a few messages within probably about the space of a week I had several people reach out to me and ask for advice on how to care for their or their children's curly hair so I figured rather than spam my personal Instagram with hair selfies I decided to set up a separate profile for uh, curly hair that was July 2020 and I've got 900 and something followers so I'm still a little bit in shock at that it might not sound very much but to me that is a lot I decided to set up this YouTube channel uh, after talking to my husband who has got a YouTube channel of his own uh, I highly recommend you go check that out a little plug there it's called Bard Elven Tales I'll pop a link down in the description box it is really good particularly if you've got little ones who like being told stories so yeah I decided to basically set up a YouTube channel of my own I figured if I'm gonna be doing my hair anyway why not film it and talk about it and have a little play with it I try and be as open and honest as I can be on both on Instagram and YouTube and if you see me endorsing a product that I've been gifted I try and highlight both the positive and the negative so if you see me ranting and raving and gushing about how amazing a product is scouts on it it is genuine and I do genuinely love that product. What I try and do is sort of counterbalance all those perfect influencers out there because I'm aware that it is really intimidating when you're starting looking after your curls that you see these people who have perfect glossy defined ringlets. So I try and sort of highlight the highs and lows of curly hair and basically try and be as realistic and genuine as possible. But anyway, back to my thoughts and feelings and advice for cutting hair. <sighs> now, when I cut my hair, it obviously needed cutting. If I put a picture here of the before, you can see how damaged and dry the ends were. I did not actually realise it was that bad until I took that photo. So when I cut my hair, I started with my hair dry I just ran my fingers down to where the breakage started and cut from there and obviously the last five six inches was how much of my hair was damaged the one thing I didn't take into account though was shrinkage I will admit I wasn't planning on cutting my hair quite this short so it was down to sort of boop height I was hoping to maybe take it to about here and when I pull my hair straight, that is where my hair sits. But of course, because of the good old shrinkage, it has sprung up to about two, three inches shorter than I was anticipating. So what I wish I'd done, before impulsively just chopping my hair off, I do wish that I had stuck to my original plan of doing the protein treatment 
first because I could have then reassessed my hair once it was dry if I still needed to take off as much as I did. But then on the other hand, I wanted a change and I was, I'm really happy with my hair colour at the moment so I didn't want to like colour my hair. So I am kind of glad I did it because I wanted a change and I've given myself a change. Now, it is only hair at the end of the day. I always say that if you botch a haircut, a dye job, whatever, I don't like a product, your hair doesn't like a product, whatever, I always do say it's only hair. So it is going to grow back. Obviously, I'm currently already growing it back out. I'm taking as much care of the ends of my hair as I can so that it grows out without all that breakage. But having said that, I'm also aware that hair is a big part of our identity. So amongst my friends, I was known as the one with the long curly hair. So it did feel a bit strange. I've got used to it now, but when I first did it, it did feel strange to suddenly not have long hair anymore. If you have watched my first introduction video, you will have seen me talk about Toblerone head when, and I'm sure many curlies out there will be familiar with this. If you have your hair too short and you dry brush it, it goes into a rather fetching triangle shape. Now I can laugh about it now, but growing up, I was sort of taking the mick out of for having the triangle hair. So since then, I have always sort of associated shorter hair with being less pretty, but I have seen some beautiful short curly hair on Instagram lately, and that sort of inspired me to take the leap and chop off more hair than I normally do. This is the shortest my hair has been for about five, six years now. The last time my hair was this short was when my little boy was about nine months old and he's now nearly six. So yeah, it's been about five years. Squeaky chair. I felt, I've had longer hair since then, so I felt almost naked the next morning, particularly where it had gone a little bit into shock and it had sprung up quite a lot. And I found when I'm tired, I play with my hair. So I sort of run my fingers through it and I'm used to it sort of going out to about here and then it just suddenly stops. So it's taken a bit of getting used to. My sort of final thoughts, because as you can hear, my voice is really starting to struggle now. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna say I regret cutting my hair because I don't. My hair is a lot healthier. I've had a lot of compliments on how much healthier my hair looks. You can see how full the ends of my hair are. I don't regret cutting my hair. It will grow back and it needed cutting. However, I should have stuck to the original plan, not been so impulsive, and I should have done the protein treatment first because then I might not have needed to cut so much off my hair because I would have put that strength and shape back into the ends of my hair. My sort of final piece of advice in this rambling, croaky video, um, if you want to cut your hair, cut your hair obviously. If you fancy a change and you think I'm going to grab some scissors and cut my hair, crack on. I've got a couple of videos on different methods of cutting. I think I've done the unicorn cut and the wolf cut. I did hear something about the universe cut that I'm going to look into. <coughs> <coughs> but I will say if you are in two minds on whether you want to cut your hair or not and you're worried you'll regret it, I will say focus on your hair's health first so deep conditioning protein treatments bond builders any of that sort of goodness to make your hair as healthy as possible then if you can still see some breakage or you still fancy a change then i would pick up the scissors okay. so that is it for today guys i'm going to go and get a big bottle of ice cream because my throat is on fire thank you for watching let me know down in the comments your thoughts if you agree with what i've said uh, if there's anything you want to see, product recommendations, I'm not going to do any haircuts for a while because I'm growing my hair, but, you know, I could always do a reaction video. I'm not a professional. Like, I, I always say, if I'm cutting my hair or reviewing products or whatever, I always say I'm not a professional. But I just think it might be fun. As always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye! <laughs>
I but growing up it was that it 